Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I was able to obtain Toshita. So what you got to do first guys is actually go to the island on the sea, which is just over there. You're going to be needing to use all of your hockey colors that you have, well the specified hockey colors. So then you can, so then you can actually, uh, so then guys you can actually summon Rip Indra, so then you can actually have the chance of getting to Shita. so yeah you're gonna be really trying to get the so yeah you need to use the ghost chalice and god so the first thing you need to do is get god's chalice i got the ghost chalice twice once i got it from my chest and the second time i think i got it from an elite hunter so yeah you either get it from a uh, chest or from the elite hunter quest that's how you can get the god's chalice and after you get it you want to come all the way to the island on the sea and you want to use the specified tacky colors then you just have to place the god's chalice on the podium so then you can summon rip injurer then guys i'll show you the step what you have to do after okay guys so i made it right here to the island on the sea so this is all the hockey colors you need the red which i already have activated so yeah it kind of it's kind of convenient yeah after that the other pressure plates will be around this island so yeah if you guys don't actually have the hockey colors people can actually spawn rip injury for you but well, you're gonna if you have the ghost chalice but you don't have the hockey colors don't worry guys but yeah people can spawn it for you so yeah when i got the ghost chalice i never had any hockey color so yeah if you don't have any of the hockey colors you can get people to come and do the pressure plates for you but after you want to come here press on here with the god chalice after you did all of the hockey colors because i think the link up with these wires then uh, rip injury should spawn right here guys then you're gonna have actually a time limit to get the torch so you need to go to the hydro island yeah, so you have to make to the hydro island it's gonna go to the waterfall right here so yeah it's gonna carry on going to the waterfall here and just wanna come down. This is the same way to actually get Enma. I'll show you guys how to get Enma in another video. I just wanna break this wall right here. If it's gonna break for me. Oh okay, so you basically wanna come in this room, guys. So I can't go in this room since I already got both of the swords. Uh so yeah, I can't really come in this room. So I'm gonna have to glitch into this room right here, guys. So yeah, I come in. You're gonna have to come and defeat these guys right over here and yeah it's gonna defeat all of these guys and then everything should be all right and done so let's let me just kill these guys it should be pretty easy to defeat and there we go so i have to defeat these guys i want to go through there guys so it's gonna come here and there should be like a hole or like an entrance to go through if i can find it so yeah, it's one. It's this one right here. So it's through the through the water, they should you should be able to come here. It's right next to the door. So this one, you wanna come along, and yeah, you can't really see anything, but it should be like here. This should be like glowing, and when you come out, you should get the white torch. So when you get the torch, uh, I'm gonna show you guys all the locations right now. So if you get the torch right now, that's perfect. Uh, uh, you don't have to, it doesn't matter if rip injury or dies after you get the torch so now guys i'm going to show you guys all of the locations so what you gotta do is actually you gotta go to the turtle on the sea island so i'll see you guys when i make it okay guys so here i'm at the castle from the sea well i'm actually in the mansion so i'm actually going to be putting a picture of all of the torch locations and yeah it's actually better to remember guys all the torch locations before you actually do it it's going to be right here on this castle and yeah right here guys we got the first and here guys we got the first torch okay okay the other one is this you're gonna go okay the other one is this right here so they come there uh, just come out of here and come here they're pretty close to each other guys the other one is this right here so like i said you want to come down and you'll find it right here guys so i think we have one or two more left to go so here is the other torch so it's just like in these uh, area where these like uh, houses or for like these mink people so it's not, after that i just want to carry on and the other locations right there okay guys the next location is here after this one we got one more i'm pretty sure so yeah guys this is the next location and now we got one more to go okay, the other one is just right here and the castle is over there so yeah it's pretty close to each other okay guys so that was actually it for all of the locations so yeah guys after you do all of that uh it's gonna car it's gonna come here guys it's gonna follow me until you come to the place where you can actually get uh to sheet so let's go to a place where you find like this skeleton guy i have totally forgot his name but uh i think i'm going the right way 
Okay, yeah, so I did go the right way. If you guys followed me, you'll be able to go the right way. So he's gonna come here, guys. I'll be able to fight this guy right over here, guys. See, after you kill him, you are able to gain a uh, Toshita. So his name is Longma. Longma, you just wanna defeat him, and you do get Toshita since he has it. And yeah, you, after you uh, do this torch quest, and after you get Toshita, you can do it as long as you want. You can do him any time. So even if he die, guys, he's, he's really close to the location. Well, um. He's really close uh, to the mansion, so you can just keep respawning and coming back. And even if you re keep rejoining servers, he'll still be here, so it doesn't really matter. The, the door will be still open. And just after you do the quest, it'll always be there. You don't have to keep redoing it. And like you don't you don't have to keep redoing it over and over and over. Okay guys, so you actually uh, okay guys, so after you actually go defeat Longma, you do get to Shita, like I said. So guys, that was the tutorial how to get to Shita for yourself. If you guys did enjoy me, shop like and subscribe. Let me know down below guys what you think about this tutorial. If you want to see some more tutorials and if you want to see another tutorial about Enma or Yama. So yeah, if you guys wanna see a tutorial how to get that sword. Let me know down below and I'll make sure to tell you guys because this one it actually eases anything guys. It's pretty easy and uh, you can probably do it in I don't know a day or two instead of a Toshita which might take like a week or even more. It just depends on how lucky you are. It just depends how lucky you are to get a God's Chalice. So if you guys did enjoy, um, let me know if you enjoyed today's tutorial but yeah guys, peace out.